and welcome to this month's IPEM vlog. I'm Claire Louise Chappell and I'm Head of the Imaging Physics and Radiation Safety Group within the Medical Physics Department at Newcastle Hospitals. I'm delighted to have recently been elected to the position of IPEM Vice President International. I applied for this post because I've long had an interest in the international perspective of my work in medical physics. I think this started right back at the beginning of my career when I took six months out to work over in India and I've since had the privilege of working with several international organisations, both through collaborative research projects and working groups on a variety of topics, and also in delivering teaching and training in a number of different countries. I feel this is useful experience that I can bring to developing the international role of IPEM. I'm very interested in continuing to work with colleagues from a diverse range of backgrounds and locations and in exploring and promoting the, the needs and potential input of IPEM international members. Within IPEM, we're currently in the process of finalising the Society's international strategy as part of the overall IPEM 2025 strategic plan. One strand of this is to increase our engagement with our international members, both in listening to their views and in seeking ways to involve them more in society activity. Towards this goal, we're planning a face-to-face -face meeting as a side event for members attending the upcoming World Congress in Singapore, and I hope that I'll have opportunity to meet some of you there. Later this year, we're hoping to relaunch the Society's Low and Middle Income Country Award, so look out for more news of this at the annual conference later this year. Longer term, we're keen to work on further developing training resources that might benefit our LMIC colleagues. Within the UK, we'd like to start keeping better track of the contribution IPEM members are already making to international initiatives and to ensure that outputs from these initiatives are shared with the wider membership. This has been in addition to encouraging more of you to get involved with such international research projects and working groups. Finally, I'd like to take this opportunity to remind both international and UK members, and of course those of you still thinking about joining the Society, of some of the many benefits of IPEM. Not only does membership give you access to our international journals and of course the Scope magazine, you also get access to a wide range of online events, plus the chance to apply for Society prizes, grants and awards. I would like to encourage you all to make the most of these opportunities. Thank you for taking the time to listen and I hope to meet some of you soon.